and thus we be Gygus. But what became of us? There we lay, dead. The war against Gygus is over. succeeded in our battle. But what's this? Perhaps this is our spirits returning through space and time to where our true bodies lay as we leave behind our robot corpses. Our shells, if you may. So, Polt returns. Hypo returns. BC returns. And last but not least, Baz returns. Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use this experience for the good of my country. Baz, BC, Hypo, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. Sai, farewell, now! I'll see you again someday. And... Wouldn't that be something if he could actually use that? as a teleport. Jeez. PC, Baz. It was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe, well if you two got- Whoa! That's going a little bit too far there, Hypo. God. <laughs> Be the one to fix your broken electronic appliances. Nah. I'm gonna stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Ennuts. I, I mean, from my dad. So, it looks like this is goodbye for now, my friends. Ahoy. Some father son time and with Mr. Saturn. Baz, will you escort me home? Why, sure, why not? I'll miss all of you, but I have to go back to being just a regular kid. Well, I gotta get going. Oh, oi, okay, so, uh, we are full on a bunch of stuff, so let's just uh, eat some of this pudding. It only healed zero! What a jip! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so, let's do that, and there you go. There we go, so now we have three presents, a letter from Tony. A letter from Mom. And... A letter from the kids. Let us read it. Let us read the letter from Tony. Dear Hypo, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just a part of the way. But instead I'm sitting here, waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. It was truly Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
give that to you. Nope, I can't. Okay. <laughs> so, not for mom. What? Uh. Okay. Dear Baz, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat pasta as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. Man, yeah, I voice crack. <laughs> I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, Taylor, and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. Yeah. Also, uh, I suppose we can give this? Ah, Baz. You've read it already. That Tony has a heart of gold. Letter from the kids. Dear PC, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents. If you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Polestar Preschool. That is adorable. It's a miracle! A miracle that has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. I should have used the face distorter. What a story that would have been. Scientist and four kids save the world! <laughs> what a greedy guy. Just wants it for the fame. Incredible! Excellent! I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on a job well done. If we ever have the chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes too. Mr. Doove! The chance of Gygus gaining victory with his monstrous plan is 99%. What? We were the 1%? Jeez. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gygus fails. I must try to come to... Uh, there. I must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. I'm sure you already know, man. Jeez. Don't undersell yourself. I guess I can't get through there. Okay. Time to escort BC back home. Let us go to Tucson. Away! And so, <clears throat> geez, and so we go all the way back to see BC's parents and drop her off because we are good, sir. Yes, thank you for escorting me home. It's something I want to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. What happens if we go in and uh, talk to her again? If she's even in here. Let's talk to her mother. You've lost some weight since I last saw you, Baz. BC, um, <laughs> BC must have had quite an adventure. I'm glad you live so close to us. Why don't you drop by more often? I'm working on making better pasta. Mmm, delicious pasta. You're a very strong young man. My opinion of you has changed. Perhaps you should continue. What? Dating? That is not what was happening. We are on an epic adventure. Hey. Epic adventure beating evil things. And cat. Yeah. Alright. Seems like a legitimate thing. Yeah, it's like it's time for you to go home. Everyone is probably worried about you. Yes, that's probably true. I must be off. This is going to be either a long episode or cut up into several different parts. So, let's make our way back to on it. Yeah, let's just do this. On the sidewalk, because we are good sirs. Alright. Walking our way back to this place. What's this? Can I talk to this person? Hmm. 2001, eh? Hmm. But it's already 2001. Jeez. What's wrong with you? Oh well. 
that's fine, I guess. So let's make our way all the way back up to our house and finish this epic adventure. Alright. Taylor, what are you talking about? Oh, the dogs haven't figured it out yet. But I know that you guys saved the world. Excellent. Alright, I'm glad we got some recognition out of it. <laughs> Tracy, goody, my brother is back. You've got a lot of catching up to do. Wait, you've got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork. York, what kind of laugh is that? My goodness, if you have any problems with your assignments, I'll help you. Don't get freaked out. Did Escargo Express, my old company, help you? I've saved some money, so we'll do the lunch thing sometime. You've all you also got a new girlfriend? No. Your adventure must have been pretty good. <laughs> Whatever. Do you need help with anything other than your schoolwork? Yes. What? What? Yeah, whatever. Well, I said take care. Just slip out of my mouth. Just like I was talking to you when you were gone. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to our mother. Wow, you became... You've become such a strong young man. I like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to annoy you as soon as you walk through the door. After all your chats with people you've met on your adventure, yeah, on your adventure, are finally over. Please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to take a look at it with you. Well, so if you think you can save the game, you can't. Hi, it's your dad. To get to the next level. <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Dang straight, I'm level 99. <laughs> next, next week will be your birthday, Baz. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely, but I want to hear about them from you, in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you at home then. Bye. And click. Beep, 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 beep. That was four beeps. It's only three. So... Stoke Club? Yo, this is the lazy cow... <clears throat> Yo, this is the lazy cowpoke stop and go. Yeah, we're a new truck stop. We just opened. Was that? The Stoke Club? That lame old place shut down ages ago. We're totally remod... We totally remodeled the place. Now we got loud music, great food, and really rowdy crowds. Listen, buddy, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Just drop by anytime. You come? You enjoy? I promise. Click beep, beep, beep. I don't feel like checking that out. So instead, did you finish doing everything that you wanted to do? Yes. Okay. Now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. And here we go. The final credits. I thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play with me. Or joining me in this let's play, rather. <laughs> I'm jumbling my words, as per usual. So, anything that I want to say before? Well, here's the cast. It shows all the characters. So, yeah. Uh, anything that I really want to talk about before I truly close this off and just let this go on? Um. I actually finished this a lot, a lot faster than I thought I would have. Uh, 58 episodes, or maybe 59, maybe even 60? I don't know how I'm gonna cut this last episode up, but... Um, yeah, it's... It was much faster than I thought. Um... And, uh... It was just a great learning experience for all the editing that I had to do. Uh... There was some, there was a lot of good that came out of this. I hope that if I ever do a re-let's play of Earthbound, I'll share more of my personal experiences than actual information. So, yeah. Hopefully I'll be better at editing as well, so... There could be that. Uh... Is there anything else I want to talk about? <laughs> uh, not really, no, but uh, as a final last note, I thank you all so much for watching, and 
everyone who watched the entire Let's Play, I thank you for supporting, for liking, for even just watching. And to all the people who subscribed to me while I was doing this Let's Play, I thank you as well. So, that's it. That's all I have to say. Uh, I thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Have a great night.
Whoa, whoa, what? What's going on here? What the? <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe this happened now. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> what's happening now? I thought we already beat the game. It can't possibly be anything else. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Huh, it seems kind of like a repeat. My land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Yeah, it's just like, uh... Well, there, you, you got me stuck. Alright. Whoa! Hey, it's just picky. A letter, a letter, a letter arrived from my brother, Pokey. It's addre it is addressed to Baz. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. The end? Hmm. I thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. And a good night.